Hello people of YouTube, I'm going to be showing off my really sick Birds EDH deck that I finished recently. I found that it didn't cost too much, it's out of this world with like who knows who Kangi is, I haven't seen one of these decks on YouTube yet, and it is just really fun to play, you're not going to be the target of anybody until you get some kind of nut draw which doesn't really happen too much, but it's fun in multiplayer, 1v1ing is something that if you beat somebody in 1v1, you're doing pretty good with life, but go ahead and try to your heart's content. Um, if you can alter this to be a penguin, that'd be awesome. That was the inspiration for this deck. I wanted to make a penguin EDH deck, and there are no penguins. There's one in Unhinged, and there is a penguin token. I just decided I wanted something that could make that penguin token, and then I would make the rest from there. So that's what I did, and I just filled it with birds afterwards. So yeah, it's Kangi Airy Keeper, 4 mana, 2-2 two, two flying, you can kick him for 2x, and x is the feather counters that will go on him, and the feather counters give all birds plus 1 plus 1, so he's just a solid, cool bird general. And then I'll go over the creatures, Cloud Reach Cavalry, 2 mana, 1-1, one, one, that gets plus 2 plus 2 in flying if you control a bird, and let's face it, you're always going to be controlling a bird, just happens. Soul Catcher, 2 mana, 1-1 one, one flying, and when a creature with flying is put into the graveyard, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on Soul Catcher. Mind Shrieker, 2 mana, 1-1 one, one flying, and uh, you can pay 2 to make a player put the top card of their library to the graveyard, and Mind Shrieker gets plus X plus X, where that is the converted mana cost. Pride of the Clouds is a 2 mana, 1-1 one, one flying, plus 1 plus 1 for each flying creature in play, um, and then you can forecast for 4 mana, reveal it, and get a 1-1 one, one flying thing, which is awesome. This is the basis of the deck. If you get this going, or at least if I get this going, then I've already won. I've already done all I needed to do in that game. So it's pretty cool stuff. And then we get to Thumbing Bird, which helps the theme with Proliferate. It's a 2 mana 1-1 one, one flying, and when it deals combat damage to a player, Proliferate, so you can make more feather counters happen and any other counters you have, but those feather counters are the coolest things to do that with. And we got Sage Owl, which is a 2 mana 1 1 flying, and just look at the top 4 cards of your library and put them back in any order. Owl Familiar, 2 mana 1 1 flying, and you can draw a card, discard a card. Even my Momancer, he's a 3 mana 3 1, and at the beginning of your upkeep, put a feather counter on a thing, and then it'll become a 3 1 flying thing, but. We're putting feather counters on Kangi. That's what he's here for, let's face it. And that it's it's gonna be a beautiful game if that happens. Arctic Aven is a three mana two one, and it gets plus one plus one with uh, planes in play, and you can pay a planes to give it lifelink. What a boss. Cloud Chase Kestrel is a three mana two two flying, and it destroys an enchantment. It's there's another there's another utility bird like that, but I just wanted to put Cloud Chaser and uh yeah, it's a bird that actually does work. Because I don't play really any premium removal. Because I just wanted bird themed stuff. So that, that destroying an enchantment bird is pretty sweet. Even Mind Sensor is a 3 mana flash flying. Uh, when if an opponent would search the library, they can only search the top 4. I think a lot of people know what this card is. It's pretty sick and modern. And it's pretty okay in EDH. Just uh, belongs the game. And sure, they'll kill it, but well, when they don't have it killed, then it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Keeper of the Nine Gales is a 3 mana 1 2 flying. Tap it and two other birds, and return target permanent to its owner's hand. Then we have the Falconer, Soraya, and it is the Bird Lord. It gives all Falcons plus 1 plus 1, which with Oracle text, that just means all birds. So that's cool. And then. You can pay two to make target falcon gain banding, or target bird, whichever. But uh, we move on to Lieutenant Kirktar, the awesomest bird, coolest bird. Um, three mana, two, two flying, and you can remove a target attack creature from the game if you sacrifice them. Like I said, no real premium removal or anything, so these birds are our prime defenses. If we don't get these birds into play, then we'll probably lose to something if we can't destroy it. So these birds are the heart and soul of the deck. They do a lot of work. 
super cool guys. Warden of Evo Sile is a 3 mana 2 2 flying, and creatures with flying cost 1 colorless less to cast. Solitude Loon is a 4 mana 2 2 flying, and when it enters the battlefield, return another white or blue creature you control it to your hand. And when it enters the battlefield as well, you draw two cards and put two cards from your hand to the bottom of your library. So you can kind of loop him. You can just return him to your hand and then just keep on doing that. And then Swans of Byron Argyle is a 4 mana 4 3 flying, and if a source would deal damage to it, um, the source's controller draws cards equal to the amount of damage, and uh, that damage is prevented. So you can just swing in at an opponent that you want to help out and draw them some awesome cards and then they'll be happy. And then Magus of the Moat is a 4 mana 0 3 and creatures without flying can't attack and all the creatures in our deck are going to be attacking while a lot of creatures our opponents control probably won't be until they destroy that guy. Summoner's Egg is a 4 mana 0 4 imprint and when it comes into play remove a card from your hand from the game face down and then when he dies you can put it into play if it was a creature. So it's I, it's one of the best flavorful cards in the deck because, you know, hatching a bird from an egg is really cool. And then Commander Esha is a 4 mana 2 4, flying protection from creatures. Pretty nice dude. Aven Fleetwing is a 4 mana 2 2 hexproof. And yeah, that hexproof is cool in a bird. I don't think it's on really any other bird. And then a Mary Angel is a 4 mana 3 3 flying landfall, and when a land. Landfall for putting a 1 1 bird into play. Then Thieving Magpie is a 4 mana 1 3 flying, and then it deals when it deals damage to an opponent, you draw a card. And then Gush Cloak Savior is a 5 mana 3 4 flying, and when a creature you control becomes blocked, you can just untap and remove it from combat. So that's pretty cool. You can make mistakes from combat and then just have it not happen. And then Karmic Guide is. well. Karma Guide and Revel Arc here, we have that combo going on. For those of you who don't know these cards, um, Karma Guide lets you, and when it enters the battlefield, return a card, target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. And Revel Arc, um, when it leaves play, return up to two creature cards with power two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield, so they kind of loop together. And then Archon of Redemption, 5 mana 3 4 flying, and when another creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, gain life equal to its power so if you get him out and then you start playing bird after bird you're you're getting a lot of life and then celestial gatekeeper it's a five mana two two flying and when it's put into the graveyard from play move from the game and return up to two bird or cleric cards from your graveyard to play so that's some cool stuff and then avon brigadier this is the guy i wish was a legendary creature he is a badass he's the best bird i've ever seen uh, besides, you know, penguins. I would probably have him altered as a penguin, but then his picture would just... I like his picture too much. It is amazing. Just look at it. Best art you'll ever see in Magic. So, uh, yeah, he is a 5-mana dude who's flying 3-5, and all your birds get plus 1, plus 1, and all your soldiers get plus 1, plus 1. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we have some bird soldiers, so that is going to be really cool. And then we have Crook Claw Elder. He's a six mana flying, three two. You can tap two birds to draw a card. You can tap two wizards to turn target or give something flying. Windverse Graptor, attacking creatures you control have life link. It's a seven mana five seven flying. And that's all the creatures. We have a ton of creatures and they're really magnificent. They do all sorts of things and stuff. And you just you just do that. And that's your game plan. So we have Enlightened Tuner, Tutor. Um, it's usable in this deck for me because that's a diamond. I'm just going with birds like shiny things. Some of the things might not make sense. Like, I don't know, I'll explain the flavor with some things you might not see if that makes sense. Coordinated Barrage. Oh, we'll, we'll go back. If you don't know what this does, you can search your library for an artifact or enchantment and uh, put it on top of your deck. Coordinated Barrage is Choose a creature type, and it does damage to attacking or blocking creature equal to the number of permanents you control of the chosen type. We choose birds, and this does a million. Dramatic Rescue. He's not quite a bird, he's a griffin, but I still wanted to put him in. Turn a target creature uh, to its owner's hand, you gain two life. So it's just 
really cool, in my opinion. Essence Scatter, it's uh, the only counter spell we play because it turns whatever they're playing into birds and that's just my way of doing things. So there's that. Wing Shards is one of our removal spells. We, uh, we have this three mana thing that target player sacrifices an attacking creature and I don't know, if you can get Storm going then that's cool. But otherwise, sacrifice a opponent's creature. It's pretty. It's better than nothing. It's removal. Harsh Mercy is three mana, and each player chooses a creature type. Destroy all creatures that aren't of the chosen type. So we choose birds, and like pretty much nothing dies. And then our opponents usually have a mixture, a pretty uh, homogenized mixture of all sorts of things, and a lot of them die because they'll choose like their fatty or something. And then we have Idyllic Tutor. It had just so happened that this awesome card had a bird on it, so we got two tutors out of this flavor package here. And then Battle Screech is four mana and puts two two or two one one white birds creatures into play and flashback and you can tap three white creatures and flash it back. Airborne Aid is when like the only draw spell we play. It's four mana draw a card for each bird in play. This is really close to my favorite card in the deck, Kirktar's Desire. Take a, just take a second to look at that amazingness. That, that is a really badass bird holding some kind of human and he's making him do whatever he wants. And he's, a, he's just evil, even though the birds are supposed to be really good. He's just, he's, he, this is a black card, but it's white. Enchanted Creature can't attack and the threshold is they can't block either so this is like playing pacifism but why would you play pacifism when you can play this really cool card so there's that favorable winds creatures with flying at 1-1 one, one. uh... soul catcher's airy uh... whenever a bird is put into the graveyard put a feather counter and then all birds get plus one plus one for each feather counter this is another thing to put feather counters on pretty cool um, proliferate and stuff shared triumph uh, choose a creature type. Those creature types get plus one plus one. Um, you could just play normal anthems, but why do that when you're just playing? You're playing birds, and this is just tribal is the only place that uh, shared triumph is just a normal card. You might as well play it. Uh, Call of the Kindred is really cool in birds because you put it on a bird, and you get to look at the top five cards of your library at the beginning of your upkeep. And if there's a bird there, you can put it into play for free. So, just really awesome. Uh, cloud cover, whenever another permanent you control becomes the target of a spell, uh, you can return the permanent to your hand. Martial Anthem, your creature get plus one plus one, and you can multi-kicker it for two mana each kick, and return a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. So you're going to be turning all your birds, and then you're going to have your redemption, and you're going to take over the game. That's that's how we do things. So. Then we have Sarah Aviary. Again, um, there are better things than this, but this Sarah Aviary, it's really cool. You can give all your creatures flying plus one plus one for four mana. It's just, you can't pass that up when you're playing this kind of deck. Then uh, Gravitational Shift is five mana. All creatures with flying gets plus two plus O, and then all without get minus two minus O. Really cool. Pro, or, yeah, Intox Roll Tide. Uh, it, whenever you cast a spell, proliferate. So, if you can, if the game stretches on long enough for you to actually do shenanigans like this, then you're just going to be putting feather counters on, and it's going to be really cool. Everybody's going to be wondering why the hell you're winning. You're probably not going to. I doubt we're going to be winning at that point. We'll be doing something though. Again, like these personal victories. If you can make that go, you've already won. I mean, we already won at putting the penguin token into play because that's the whole point of the deck. Then we got uh, for artifacts, soul ring. I mean, I don't know why the hell birds would like this, but I put it in because it's soul ring. Sky diamond, it's a diamond. Marble diamond, birds like that stuff. So uh, then gilded lotus. So it happens it's a flower. Birds like flowers, so cool. Sensei's divining top. Again, uh, like soul ring. I don't know why a bird would care, but I put it in, and don't question it. Skull Clamp, I'm a, don't call ASPCA, just keep it calm. 
we put it in here and we're gonna sometimes hurt our birds so we can get more birds or something and we don't talk about it. Lightning Greaves, um, there's kind of a soldier sub theme so soldiers would wear these, it's pretty cool. And then Contagion Clasp, Proliferate, and we got Cryptic Gateway for 5 mana put uh, tap 2 and tap creatures you control, put a creature that's the same creature type. I guess I haven't been saying some of these. I I don't know, I guess I'm assuming some of them are more well known. Then Coat of Arms, um, your creatures get plus one for each other creature that shares a type. This is the best card in the deck. This is like, this is your best win condition. Like, you've got all those birds out there, nobody's been harming you. They're like, okay, we'll let him have his birds. And like, you got like 10 birds out there. Coat of Arms, you win, maybe. You kill, you kill somebody, so that's pretty cool. And then for our land base, we have uh, we have like seven islands. Um, I think we got thirteen planes, evolving wilds, Termorphic expanse, reliquary tower, only sandbar, included step, just really standard stuff. Um, some more budget because I wanted to be Borel shelf, sorry skilled gate, coastal tower, Sajiri refuge. Nimbus Maze, Hollowed Fountain, Glacial Fortress, Hidecar Waste, Sky Squad Expanse, Minotake Cloud Keeper, Command Tower, Forbidden Orchard, Flood Plains, Seaside Haven. And that finishes out the deck. So, uh, yeah, you should go build this because it's cool and you'll win a lot of games sometimes maybe but you know it's worth it it's worth doing